Hey, welcome to the Lava Reef Zone. Getting near the end of the game. Only a couple more zones after this. I wouldn't say this is the... This is the last, like, regular zone. No, it's not the last regular zone. It's the last zone before shit starts going down, story-wise. Not that anyone cares about the story, but I don't care about the bad things. This guy, he's alright. Who cares? I mean, he's kind of chill. I don't mind him. I kind of like this guy. He's has the toxic gas cloud, and uh, the last guy is a piece of shit, and he can't do anything to you if you have a shield, so, what was I saying, yeah, so, after this level, zone, some shit starts going down, alliances are broken, and new ones are formed, all kinds of crazy shit, anyways, welcome to Lava Reef Zone. Not the most graceful entrance, but it'll do. And I like this zone f fair, a fair amount. Obviously, Lava Reef Zone was gonna have a lot of lava. Tails can't really cope with that, whatever. See a lot of these fucking fireballs. Probably the most annoying thing in the level. Just these fire fireball turrets everywhere. And I'll take this lightning shield, but I would actually rather have a fire shield for once. Having a fire shield make this zone in general just so goddamn easy, it is wonderful really. Like, there's just so much lava and fire in general. Let me just demo this guy real quick. This stupid toxic cloud will get on you. Slowly suck away your rings, make it really hard to jump. But you just have to spin dash or kill him and it'll go away. And I quite like this bit here. Just, you know, just things like this that make you go really fast. Big jumps. It's all good. Nope, almost fell on those spikes. Luckily I had this double jump at my disposal. And luckily up here I know for a fact that there is a fire shield. Can't wait to demonstrate her. Well, never mind, I don't have to wait. It's lets you just stand and walk on lava. It's pretty great. I love it. It's just really the ultimate companion for this, this zone. Now, I like this Act 1. Well, just like Sandopolis. I like Act 1 a lot more than I like Act 2, but for different reasons. We were in Sandopolis, they were pretty similar. And this... This one... Act 2 really takes a turn for the shit. In pretty much every way. But, we'll talk about that in a while. I don't know why I'm talking about it right now. And Burn Marble Zone, where I talked about getting my revenge on the lava. Well, that was it. Not having to worry about it. It's kind of a lackluster revenge, I suppose. You know, not having to give a shit about it. It's not bad. And I don't know what the fuck that was. Like it's like you think it'll be like the mini boss or something, but it just drills through the ground and falls in the lava and gets destroyed, so I have no idea what the fuck it was trying to accomplish. Now the music for this zone is quite good. I mean, it's not my favorite or anything, but I do enjoy it quite a bit. And what was that in here? Oh, it's a giant ring. Last time we have to see one of these. And it's the last the last one, the cyan one, I believe. Look at all these. Super emeralds we already got. Isn't that wonderful? Time to get blue spheres for the last time. And this actually can be kind of a complicated or confusing stage if you don't know what's up. Basically, just... I don't know how I can describe my advice here. It's basically just be aware of everything that's happening all the time. Like, you see, you don't want to panic here, you know it's going to bounce you their way, and you know you're going to get bounced forward again, so... Don't worry. Just go with the flow, I suppose. And see, this is, rewards you for being good by letting you have a lot of rings if you want. And I don't want, but whatever. Oh boy, only 16 more. And this part actually kind of confused me the first time I was doing this. I'm not entirely sure whether this turned into rings, but... Let's just not think about it and keep moving. And, oh, what's that I see to the right? Is it the last blue sphere that I'll ever get? Oh, yes it is. And there we go, the lightish blue super emerald. Sonic got all super emeralds, oh boy. And after a tiny little sequence here, and obviously we gotta do, you know, this, the standard swing. Anyways, we gotta just take a nice little pan around. Look, look at all these wonderful emeralds we got. Oh. Now Sonic can be hypersonic, and if supersonic is Super Saiyan 1, then hypersonic will probably be Super Saiyan 3, in terms of 
power level, I suppose. But we need to lose this shield first. Can this guy help me? No, he can't. He's a piece of shit. But luckily there's spikes here. These will work fine. And Tails killed himself like an idiot. And I happen to know for a fact that there is a ring in there because I was looking at a map of those earlier. So I grab it. Why not? And after Tails dies again, let's transform. Now, let's start with the obvious differences, the visual differences. What's super? What's the difference between supersonic and hypersonic? Well, first of all, he's got big-ass sparklies, way bigger than supersonic. Second of all, instead of just glowing yellow, he glows all the colors of all the emeralds, just flashing between them, which is pretty cool. Also, you might notice he leaves an after image, uh, one of two frames behind him and one of four frames behind him. Thank you, Olilia, for telling me that. And... Not only does he run and jump much higher and faster, but he has a double jump, that as you see. Basically you jump and you hold the direction you want to jump in again, and hit jump again. You go flying in that direction, and you see it has a big white flash, and that kills all the enemies on the screen. Also, Hypersonic can breathe underwater, just cause. So yeah, basically he is the shit, and you can just jump over everything if you wanted to. But, like before, I'm gonna try to not, you know, fucking not give you a good view of the level. I want to still show you basically what it's like. But I think you guys can kind of get the gist of it, you know. I'm not doing too bad of a job. I'm just doing it really fast. Anyways, I think coming up here, well, coming up here shortly, we should be, oh, the flash, I just want to show off. The flash by itself does kill everything on the screen. But yeah, here, here's the first mini boss, or the only mini boss, rather. And these are part of the mini boss, but I wouldn't say they're the actual mini boss itself coming up really soon, right here. And I kind of like this mini boss, I think he's pretty cool, just, you know, great big robot hand, how can you not like that? And I just let him hit me, because, you know, I do damage to him when he does that, because I'm fucking hyper, but what you're supposed to do is either, like, jump when he's about to come down, and then you can hit him again. He's pretty easy, but, you know, not bad for a mini-boss, I suppose. And that's the end of Act 1, luckily we still have our fire shield. I really enjoy being able to carry shields between acts, it's very nice.